All right, welcome back again to another stream. Today we're going to be having a look at Novigrad on the Witcher 3 running on the Nintendo Switch. We're playing in docked mode right now and we just want to Come see on, how the Switch manages to handle the, one of the biggest cities in the game. Um, we're playing in nighttime right now. I'm going to just switch it quickly to daytime. So we can see things a bit clearly. Let's get off the horse first. Um, all right, meditation. Meditate until twelve p.m. All right, so let's go and explore Novigrad in the daytime. So we're gonna walk. We're gonna run into the city. As you can see, things in in the distance are slightly blurry. Um, there's a slight little dip in the frame right there, but nothing major. And we're crossing over the bridge into the city. There's a lot of NPCs around. Um, still running smooth. Nothing too major. But so far, really impressive. And um, there's a slight, a slight dip in the smoothness that I can see. The frame rate's probably just under thirty. But everyone's been telling me that Novigrad is going to be one of the, you know, the roughest parts of the game on the Switch. And so far, it's not, it's not too bad. It's still playable. And this this part is very smooth. Um, let's walk around a bit. Let's walk into here. Now the video should be running at about 60 frames a second, so you should get a good idea of how smooth it is. We're going to walk over to the port here. So yeah, things are uh, a good bit more blurry than they than they usually are. Probably because the city is quite big and there's a lot of a lot of stuff to look at. It's not doing too bad. This is probably the biggest test of The Witcher 3 on the Switch. How it handles this. Look at that, there's a lot of NPCs around here. Yeah, look, look, it's really blurry. So the quality has taken a, a dip once we enter the city, but it's not terrible by any means. Alright, where do we want to go now? Um, we'll go further into the center. Let's go over here. I'd say. Let's leave a marker, custom marker over here. And a drunk guy over here. There's some of the buildings. So for the most part, the game has run at a pretty solid 30 frames a second. Um, this is probably the first place that I've been in where I've actually perceived... 
I was going to say a perceived a drop in resolution and frame rate, but it actually it's it's the frame the resolution's kind of gone up at this bit. I've noticed it's slightly more crisp here. I don't know if it translates over to the video because YouTube tends to compress the video on top of <laughs> on top of what the switch is already compressing it. Alright, let's go over here. But it's by no means unplayable. It's still, it's still running pretty well. Come on, look at the NPCs. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there's a lot of NPCs in the city, and considering how much there is. It's still running reasonably well. Oh god, someone's getting set on fire. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire in lions burns. And cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. Oh, no. Special fire for you, freak. Nice, slow burning. We'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. Oh, he's getting set on fire. Oh, God. Brutal. Um, during the cutscenes here, the, the graphics look pretty good. Really good, actually. It's not until you're walking around the resolution goes down. Yeah, look at that. It's, this is this is definitely under 30 frames a second. It's definitely lagging a little bit, but I think this is going to be improved over time. Um, like like every game, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get patches, it's gonna get updates, and they're gonna improve the improve how it runs on the Switch. So if even though it's a bit it's a bit stuttery right now expect that probably to get ironed out in the next six months but look at the quality though I actually I think the quality is actually improved at this bit look at the detail in the buildings like up there there's a lot of detail I can't believe this is running on the switch still this is probably the most impressive part of the game that I've seen so far. If you want to see other parts, if you want to see the game in more detail, I've got two other streams that I posted before this. Um, Andre Keisler asks, are the graphics good? The graphics are pretty good, yes. I mean, look at this. It's going to look worse on YouTube than it does in, in person. But look at this. It doesn't look as good as the PS4 and it doesn't look as good as PC, but... I mean, it's the Nintendo Switch. What more can you expect? Um, I wouldn't be so sure with Nintendo Switch game ports and patches, but I trust CD Projekt Red enough to patch it. I mean, yeah, I mean, we're not going to see massive jumps in performance over time, but we're, I'd imagine we'll see some. I think they'll, they'll iron it out a bit more over time. But so far, even considering the game's not even released yet, it's running pretty well. I'm fairly happy with it. I mean, look at the graphics here. 
And I think anyone bashing the graphics need to step back and remember that this is running on the Nintendo Switch, which is a portable console. I mean... It's a, it's a handheld console. What can you expect? Alright, so... This part of the city looks quite nice. Let's see where else we want to go. I'm not going to spend all day on this. I'm going to spend a few more minutes. We're just going to have a look at how the city... We're going to look at the city and see what the graphics look like. So far the graphics look pretty good. But it can go up and down. Um, and bear in mind that this is probably the busiest, most, um, most intense part of the game, graphically. So we are going to see a, perfor a performance hit, to some extent. But so far it's not bad. Considering there's loads and loads of NPCs running around. A lot of architecture. It's actually looking around. really good. Let's go over here. Ah. Right, let's meditate. Let's meditate until morning time. Um, eight in the morning. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the chat. I'm going to be on for like another two minutes, possibly. Just looking around the city, and then we'll we'll end it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to meditate until about sunset, I think. Six a.m. There we go. Yeah, so far the graphics look very really good. How big is the patch, if any? Um, you will get one patch on day one. It's 3.2 gigabytes, so it's not big at all. The majority of the game is on the game cart. So if you're worried about, if you're worried, if you're worried about The Witcher 3 taking up a ton of space on your SD card, don't worry about it. Because, like I said, the majority of the game is on the on the game cart. You'll only have to download a few a few gigabytes, which is nothing. But then it might be a problem if you only have a sixteen a sixteen gigabyte SD card. Then it might be. Then it might be a bit of a problem. All right, let's go over here. Can we go in here? Oh sorry, does the patch affect FPS? I've not did enough testing before the patch to know. But I think I think it does. I'd imagine I'd imagine that first patch would improve FPS just a little bit. And Danny Boy, that's right, it's about 3.2 gig gigabytes. Alright, there we go. So that is Novograd on the Nintendo Switch. Sorry for the weather. The weather has been quite bad. <laughs> Believe me. Oh, fuck off. Out of we what? I 
Oh, no. All right, we're gonna have to fight this guy here. Is the FBS F, um, Dick Deep? <laughs> is the FBS bad stable? Um, in Novigrad, the st the FBS can go up and down; it can fluctuate, but it's by no means unplayable. For but outside Novigrad, the FBS is pretty stable, thirty frames pretty much all the time. So when you're like running around the world, it's thirty frames a second, F thirty FBS. But as soon as you enter Novigrad, it can dip down to like 25 or something. So it's still pretty good. Um, let's, what time is it now? Six. Let's change to here. Let's meditate till about this time. So look at that. The sun is setting. Alright guys, so that is Novigrad on the Witcher 3 on the on the Nintendo Switch. Um if you want to watch me play Witcher 3 for a bit longer then stay tuned I'm gonna end this stream here because this is just supposed to be a video covering Novigrad please subscribe if you want to see more Nintendo Switch content if you want to see more Witcher 3 hit that sub subscribe button down below hit the bell icon for notifications and I'll be posting a lot more Switch content so thank you for watching please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video peace